It's been quite some time since I've ran 800 meters on a track like this, and I'm definitely going to come nowhere close to how Marco Aerobe did at Budapest, Hungary over the weekend. Aerobe pulling away from the rest of the field here. What a way to win this would be. Watch for Sajati and Wanyongi in second. Patterson on the inside. Aerobe strikes goal for Canada. I'm still in disbelief and, and uh, I got to give a lot of credit to, to my coach, my support team and, and uh, my family and you know just everybody behind me. I, like, there's just so many people I can thank for this and yeah, I'm just glad it worked out today. Aerobe was obviously a continent away for this race, but there's lots of friends and family and people that know him from back in the day and training back here in Edmonton watching. I just know how much, uh, how much hard work goes in his preparation and you want to see somebody like that, just a good person to see that level of success. He see him start off, he's got a few different strategies, start off the race a little bit slow at the back of the pack, and then when he took the kick to take the lead, it's like, I think he has it, right? And so uh, to see him push and to see no one be able to get anywhere near him and see him cross that line, it was just like uh, goosebumps. I still feel them right now and just uh, a ton of pride and uh, I was really happy for him. Now, I'm not really too sure how well we did because I'm not gonna lie, I think we forgot to time that one, but I definitely didn't know where as close as A-Rope did. And for him, this is really good momentum as he'll be going into 2024 Paris Olympic Games, hoping to qualify next summer. Travis McEwen, CBC News, Edmonton.